okay in this video tutorial we will learn how we can interface the mq9k sensor with the Arduino in the Proteus so fit so first of all I I will tell you that Proteus 8 is not offering the mq9 gauge sensor component so we have to make our own sensor for this specific task that is the gauge sensing in this project you need one Arduino here we are selecting this UNO R3 you can take any of the Arduino from any other source there are some libraries in Google from where you can download the library of the Arduino for Proteus and hence after downloading it and placing it in the library folder you are able to use it however I have given the Proteus file link downloading link in the description so you can download the Proteus file from that link and also if you have any sort of difficulty in, in order to build this project you can comment down and I will just respond it in around one to two hours so here we we have taken our Arduino then we will go to part and we will search for MQ9 and here we have our MQ9 gauge sensor again this MQ9 is also not offering by Proteus so you should have to download our file in order to get it and if you find any sort of difficulty I will help you just comment down okay now there are three pins that is VCC ground and data pin and also one is input signal so take logic logic toggle and attach it with the signal attach this VCC of the sensor to the DC supply which is of 5 volt just write 5 volt here and for ground you can attach ground to the ground pin then this data pin must be connected to the analog A0 pin okay now okay now we have our circuit almost ready I'm just adjusting it so that we can also add one serial monitor in order to see the output you also need serial monitor And here in Proteus, serial monitor is declared as the virtual terminal. So RXT must be connected to the TXT and RXT of Arduino with the TXT of gay sensor. Now our circuit is completed. Now we will go to the Arduino and here we will write CDL dot begin 9600 because we we have to represent the guest detection on the CDL monitor or virtual terminal in the Proteus. So you should have to initialize your serial communication and serial dot begin 
will do it. Then in while loop you can write integer da ta is equal to analog read of a0 okay then int mapper is equal to map of data comma 0 comma 1023 comma 0 comma 255 what these two lines are doing as we know that we have given the signal that is the guess the data signal is actually going to the a0 pin of the arduino that analog read will read the data and store all the data inside the data variable and which is of integer type after getting the data the control will move on the next line and here what will be done that data is taken and on in on time axis the data is divided into 1023 fractions and magnitude of signal is divided into 0 and 255 that is 255 means 5 volts and the 0 means 0 volts and 163 or 164 obviously it represents 3.3 volt like that after it all the data will be mapped and stored inside the mapper variable you can use any other variable instead of mapper like mapper1 mapper3 or mapper underscore final or any other and we will write if mapper is greater than 200 if means that it will check if function will check either mapper is greater than 200 then it will serial dot print it will it will print guess detected okay and another if statement that is after they say if just change the greater than sign to the less than and serial dot print lm no guess detected so now we will compile it and we will write it case sensor in proteus and we will save it uh, to this pc and uh, dot org and we will save it you can save it anywhere inside your pc so save it Control C. Okay, we have copied the link and we will go to the let's go let's see, Arduino and we will paste the link here and press OK. Then we will run it. Okay, okay, one wait, wait for a moment. And we will right click on gas module and we will select on the hierarchy module. Okay, now we will run it okay here it is written that no gas is detected but when we will give signal of one it shows gas is detected so hopefully you got some bit concept regarding mq9 gas sensor and it's interfacing with data of arduino so thanks for watching this video tutorial